YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to um, start my wiring uh, for my track and um, what I'm going to do since um, I'm using Easy Track is I bought some extenders um, off of uh, eBay and um, I'm going to uh, rather than cut the wires try to solder them back because they're so thin or or try to uh, use some sort of um, uh, connector, butt connector. I'm going to drill down through and then um, use a connector here to connect it to my switches which I'm going to run off to the side of my table. Um, I've already got enough holes in my <laughs> in my um, in marks on my table because of my kids which uh, decided to play with the styrofoam. So what I'm going to do instead of doing that, I'm going to just put a something here to kind of just give me a guide of where I'm at. I'm going to take the track apart, pull the track up, and then I'm going to um, drill a hole underneath the track, run the wire down through, and then we'll run the connectors and fasten them to the bottom of the table. This will also make it easy if I need to move the table somewhere else rather than having wires strung all over the table on the bottom I'll be able to unplug them and plug them back in. So the first thing I do is I'll go ahead and mark that and then we're going to just uh, take this part of the track apart and instead of I'm going to try to just kind of swing it over if I can And I know that it's just right on the edge of that, so I'm just going to drill a hole right there. Um, the uh, connector is about a half inch, so I, I, I got a half inch bit that I'm going to try to use. And if I need more, then I could, I've got a spade bit, but I'm going to try this first. So we're going to try this and see how it works. Okay, now we're down to the table. So we're through. Let's see if that's wide enough for this to go down through or not. Yeah, let's take this apart here. Slide that thing through there without damaging the wires. And we'll unwind it. I know, uh, you know, I mean, since I'm using Easy Track, you, you might as well make it the easiest as possible rather than just trying to rewire the whole thing. And, and since they come this way, uh, that's kind of the benefit. I know real modern railroaders don't like the Easy Track and stuff like that. And um, if I do a second model railroad, I'll definitely um, build it from start to finish with regular flex track and stuff like that but uh, for the first one this this has been a great experience for me very easy for me to get through so now that we got that let's try to stick this down through there and maybe looks like we're going to have to widen it out just a little bit may just let me get under the table and take a look here. And we're gonna have to widen it. So yeah. You can see my hole. Right there. We're gonna make that just a little bit bigger. So we'll go ahead and do that and then uh I'll show it to you when we're done. Okay, so now I got that done. You can see there's a hole there. It's right under my track. It's a little closer to the edge than what I wanted. So I'm going to make sure when I do this one over here, which I made a mark with my finger where I want it, um, I'm going to do it in a little bit further so it's not as close to the edge of where my track is. Um, 
underneath the table. I had to widen that out a little bit to get it through. But that's what it's going to do. Um, I'm probably going to take some some sort of piece, extra piece of styrofoam or something and just stick in there just to, to cover it up, even though it's not going to show. Um, I think that's probably what I'll do. So, and then obviously you'll have to clean this up, your table up, so you don't have all this dust from the styrofoam and and um, in the wood. Um, what I'm going to do here, since it kind of widened out there when I did it, I'm going to punch a hole in here with a screwdriver to uh, give it a little bit so I can stick the bit down in there. And that way hopefully it doesn't tear it up as much. So we're going to try it one more time. Now if I can just uh, get the screwdriver I want. I'm going to make a little punch in here. Like that. That'll give myself a little guide to go down here. We're going to take the drill. Now that I got the hole, do the same kind of thing. I'm going to just push it down in. I'm going to pull it up. That way I have a little spot there. I'm going to try it again. Now we're in. And we're through. And that's a lot better. Much better on that one. So as you can see, there's the whole that one. A lot cleaner, a little bit smaller. There's that one. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to get that. Um, doesn't, I don't think my uh, connectors are going to come in today, but um, if they come in today, then we're going to go ahead and run all of them and get the wires over here and get them plugged into all my switches. And uh, plan on making a some sort of um, brace or, so, or some sort of a little extension here to where I can set the controllers on and then line all the switches up here. So that's where we're at on this. Uh, we'll get this done and then we're going to start uh, working on on getting the scenery done. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's a pretty simple way to do it. But uh, when you're working with Easy Track, it makes it a lot simpler doing uh, what you're doing the uh, work rather than having to wire everything. Um, twisting it, soldering it, butt connecting it, whatever. So that's where we're at. We'll get started on those and then uh, we'll be back at you. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to continue to subscribe and make comments. Um, all comments are welcome. Just keep them clean because little kids do watch it. Thank you.